Okay, so this is, they believe the artist would be Leonardo da Vinci, okay? And the title, Salvatore Mundi, okay? Language? Italian. What do you think? Italian. It would be Italian, okay? So, savior of the world. And what, you, what you're looking at here is, what Sotheby's was trying to do is they're trying to establish provenance. If you're going to sell something for $450 million and somebody's willing to buy it for $450 million, you better have a good case that this is the real deal. Um, this painting is actually small. It's about 23 inches tall, so it's a little bit less than two feet. Mona Lisa is about the same. It was likely painted on a wood panel using oil paint, which was very new at the time. And the background originally would have been black and then you slowly create a series of glazes as it goes over it. And they could do, gen they could do it like uh, chemical testing on the pigment. A lot of times they would do it from the back or on the side to establish a chemical signature of it. And then of course you have a whole string of PhDs that look into it before somebody's gonna sell that, that painting. It is real similar in terms to when you look at it as like a Mona Lisa. This frontal pose you only see with usually like Jesus and the hand here with the two fingers like that it would have been right after he would have done this he would have said something like truly I tell you so in a biblical sense he's getting ready to tell you the word so this is a very kind of popular um, symbol at the time. If you compare it with the Mona Lisa, it's very similar in how it's created this smoky, misty look, which is called sfumato, and that was signature for Leonardo da Vinci. Stylistically, it could be him. He did write notes, he did leave notes, of course they were like left-handed and backwards, but this is it. The big curiosity in here is the orb, and I'll show you what that looks like, and that's at the bottom. I could back up just a little bit, and if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see the orb. This painting would have only been possible in oil paint because of the translucence and the glow that you see here. Uh, Willem de Kooning said that the entire reason why oil painting was invented was to paint flesh. That was it. Now, you can also compare this to a painting that was done at about the same time by a northern artist named Alprick Durer. And it's a self-portrait of 1500. So this is actually Durer of himself. Better painting. But he was German, and interestingly enough, he was also Protestant. As opposed, I don't believe Da Vinci was one way or the other. He would have probably claimed to have been Christian, but that was just economically advantageous. <laughs> Not known as a painter, Da Vinci, but some of his most he's he's got a few. You know, The Last Supper that was a fresco. Mona Lisa is an oil. Madonna of the Rocks is an oil on canvas. And the oil painting really kind of was at the beginning. And that would have been high renaissance, around 1500. So, 450 million bucks. Is it worth it? No. 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 Somebody paid that much for it. Sotheby's probably took about 30%. That would be the auction house. Who knows what they took? They probably negotiated for it. But they would have had a whole list of provenance. And you have to have that in order to establish some kind of worth or proof in a historic work of art. I like Durs better. I just like saying it. I'll break Durs. 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 Sounds like an old car trying to start. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, most people would never see $450 million in their life. Um, but... For students that are looking to go into actual art careers uh, after high school or after college or even starting right now, um, what kind of careers 
uh, are they looking at? Well, uh, being a fine artist, you can make a pile of money. I mean, um, Jeff Koontz was, is the highest paid living artist, and he sold a sculpture for $23 million in New York. Um, artists today make tons and tons of money, especially if you have a, a name established. And then, of course, there's the, uh, you know, the graphic arts. They say that there are more BFAs hired. They're more in demand BFAs, which is the Bachelor's of Fine Arts. The MFA, which is the master's part, are more valuable today than an MBA because it develops what you'd call like divergent thinking. Um, you're able to solve problems that you don't know are problems yet. So having that kind of creative training um, is really good. 